artists, for this project, you will need a piece of blank paper. It could be a piece of notebook paper or copy paper, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. We're gonna make something called a zine today. And this one is made from one page, but it has multiple pages that you can add details to. You can either draw or you can collage like I did. These are great for writing stories or collecting things. If you have um, images that you like, you can glue them in there if you have a glue stick or any kind of glue. Um, but first we have to start folding using some familiar folds that we know. So we're gonna start with a hot dog fold like this and you're gonna try to crease it as you go. And you're gonna fold that into a hamburger fold. And then if I'm going too fast, you can rewind and rewatch this. And then you're gonna fold into the corner. Kind of tricky. And then you're gonna fold into the corner so that you have almost like a little burrito shape here. So these two flaps that open up. And then you're going to close it. And you're gonna see this crease that we made in the middle. So you're gonna just lightly pencil dash that one and then put a little dot right here because we're gonna cut up to the dot so that when we fold our zine, it'll help us create extra pages. So after you do that, it's gonna make sort of a little tent shape with this um, cut in the middle. So you're gonna try to Pull those two pages out so you have this four-cornered piece. Then once you get those four corners, you're going to flatten it out, flatten out your piece of paper, and you're going to press those pages down. And then you will fold this so that it becomes a little book. And now you're going to open it up again because you're going to want to, when you're drawing on your zine, you're going to want to draw it flat. It's just a lot easier. So I'm gonna mark my pages so that I know this is gonna be my front cover and my back cover. So I'm just using this as a little reminder. And then right across from my front cover is gonna be my first page, second page, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So it'll also help me know what um, direction I should be drawing on because we don't want these to be upside down. So then I'm going to decide what I want my zine to be about. This is a really fun, you can talk to your family. Maybe you could do a family book or maybe you could do some interview questions with someone in your family. Um, we can also use something that we've used before and I will make a little um, photograph of this and post it along with a video. These gnome pages that a lot of us did, um, you could do a whole gnome zine. Um, I used the pictures from the mailers that come and I cut pieces out to tell a story about um, of my zine. This one's called The Night at the supermarket, what does food say when they turn out the light? What does the yogurt say? Yo, yo, the blue chips. I'm feeling blue, me too. I think we're in a bit of a jam. I'm the milk, no, I'm the milk. Time for a pop quiz. Who is older, Coke or Pepsi? And then the last page, burr. Are you cold or is it just me? So you can use images from um, magazines or little newspapers um, or um, the mailers that come to your house. Anyway, so give it a try. And then I'll um, post some other ideas in the next photo. Have fun.